viewers, Makadini, Muribwanj, Muzitiani, Dumela, Ma, Sanibonani, Bonjo. Uh, welcome to Auntie Jenny's Lounge Talk Show. My name is Auntie Jenny, and today I'm going to be talking about a very, very controversial issue. The issue is Nyayadema Small House. Women, I mean, men cheating. And because we asked our viewers what they wanted us to discuss on this show and many many women were concerned about the way that their husbands are treating them and they wanted to know what goes on in the men's head what happens in the men's mind when they bring a, a, a woman another woman into their matrimonial beds and they wanted to know what goes on in the, in the men's mind when they know for real that they're married and they have somebody at home but they still go and ask another lady out. And many men have, no, have been known to, for saying, ah, and Nagurora didn't come on, and she didn't come on, and this and this things like that. And why do men do that? So I've decided to bring two gentlemen into the studio today so that we can hear it from the horse's mouth. Today I have uh, my special, one of my special guests is. Uh, Max Yentoro, hello. hello auntie. How are you? I'm I'm fine, welcome to you. the program. And I also have um, a familiar face. This is uh, Gerald Mabandi and it's Uncle Gent in the studio. And I'm just going to start firing. I'm just going to start shooting. What goes on in a man's head? Like, what happens when you go out there and knowing that you're married and you just go out and you start asking other ladies out or hitting on other women or flirting? Hmm. That's a difficult question, you know. <laughs> That's a difficult question, you know, to answer because, I mean, sometimes, you know, you, you never know what happened, you know, in your mind. Mm. But I think, you know, the bottom line is it depends, you know, with the kind of men, you know, with the type of men, you know, you are. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that, you know, these things, you know, do not happen, you know, they do happen. I've, I've got friends, you know, that, you know, when they're out there, you know, they are like, uh, you know, bees, you know, moving from flower to flower, you know, uh, uh, looking for where, you know, where the nectar is. Mm -hmm. But uh, in any case, you know, they'll be married, you know, with the family, you know, at home. So maybe it, it, it all depends with what actually happens, you know, in the in the matrimonial home, mm -hmm. what is actually it is Same. that is happening in there that is making, you know, the men uh, want to go, you know, and do all these things, you know, that, you know, they do, you know, that are out there. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've seen some men, you know, that admire other women, mm -hmm. but uh, you spend time with them, with their women, they've never complimented, you know, the food, you know, that they cook. They've never, you know, said, you know, uh, that, you know, oh, oh, you're looking nice today, oh, you're smelling good, oh, you're beautiful. It's, you know, their nature. But when they go out there, you know, they're like, you know, you know, piranhas, you know, when they see, you know, other women, the other women, they they're like, oh, yeah. am I Mahabat? <laughs> no, I'm mine. You know, I, I've, I, and I've heard this new line that guy says, mm. but I don't know if I saw Mika, the guy who tell the same way, so the guy who funga in the room, but you go to one day, watch and you know, any jag. I mean, guys, please, you need to stop drooling over us, right? <laughs> Have you ever encountered any of these issues? Like, have you ever had a small house? Do you know somebody who's had a small house? Or have you done it like before you got... Are you married now? Yeah, uh, I'm a married man. Yes. So before you got married, have you ever like um, cheated or double-crossed two um, women? Dated two women at the same time? Myself, I haven't cheated. But uh, I still remember a long time ago when I wasn't uh, married. Mm -hmm. Uh, when I had this uh, girlfriend of mine uh, because I wasn't working, you know, at home I was being looked after by my parents mm -hmm. uh, she found another guy who was working mm. and then that guy uh, was actually, uh, actually proposed that uh, girlfriend of mine and then uh, she ended up fell in love to that guy simply because that guy was a working he was person. working class and yeah, he was, he was he working, not working class and I wasn't working and he had a company car as well wow <laughs> so because of that 
actually didn't tell me that uh, I'm in love with another guy, but I actually found out through my friends that, oh, you know what, your, your girlfriend, your is, seeing girlfriend someone else. is seeing someone else. And oh, then dear. there was a day when we went together to the to that guy's place and then I actually confronted them. confronted them and then I saw my girlfriend coming out of that. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. That would be uh, that must so have been I mean, a Yeah, so <laughs> you know it's something you know that happens, you know, with you know you know, you know with women as well. You know. So they can have, you know, their side you know, their thing. Oh yes, oh well. yes, but Bambi in front of is always there. Mm. It, uh, it has been known that there's always Bambi in front is in many situations you get a uh, Half the time you get either the man cheating or the woman cheating, but for whatever reason, this is what we're trying to find out in today's program, right? That must have been a very bad experience with you, and one might question if that experience will make you a good husband or it will make you not trust anyone at all. Uh, yeah, at first I felt that uh, I'm not gonna trust any woman because I thought that's what they are all the the women uh, around the world they're cheats yeah but as time goes on it's like um my sister as well affected with that uh situation and then uh she get she gave me some advice as a young brother that no matter what happened uh women are different definitely oh. gonna Bless find it. someone uh, who bless, who bless gonna it. do the same like what happened to See, you. Bless it. Right. Um, this cheating thing. Mm -hmm. Right. I know your guys, when you go to the pub, you talk. When you're going for a drink or whatever it is, it's at work, you talk about girls and you talk about hot chicks. And I want to know, like, when you're, when you're, seeing someone like when you see someone passing by and you say oh damn you know and they do the builders whistle yeah i mean yeah <laughs> and that's men for you i mean you know yeah of course what I mean, would be going on in your head then no sometimes you know nothing you know will be going on yeah you're seeing at the end of the day if you're a person who can admire a beautiful thing mm -hmm. there's nothing you know, this is why I've I've always um, said, you know, when I do my uh, you know lectures about you know self-esteem, that women they take it you know the wrong way. That you know if you compliment you know somebody, they say, oh you are look oh by the way you are looking beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's not like you are hitting on them. No 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 no, you are not hitting on them. What you are saying is you are complimenting. Yeah, Duh. the beauty that you're seeing, you know, in front of you. Duh. Yes, you know, when there's nothing you, wrong with that. When you tell me, when you tell me I look beautiful, you better be hitting on me. No, 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 no. It doesn't have to be like that because what that happens, I mean, what that does is it builds your self-esteem as a woman mm -hmm. to know that you know you can actually walk out there and men can actually say, oh, that woman there is this beautiful. There's is, nothing wrong with that. This is amazing. So, in <laughs> other words, you say you're doing that to empower women, yeah? Yeah, of course, you know, I mean, if we don't do that, I mean, if, no, 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 just, you know, just think of this. If we constantly, you know, trample, or if we constantly look down or say something bad about women every now and then, how are you guys, you know, going to feel? If every man that no, is, part, is commenting if, about, you know, this part of your body is commenting about badly about, you know, this part of your body, no, how are you going to feel? And right. Let me give you an example. What I mean is, mm -hmm. yes, compliment women, but it should be your woman. Huh. <laughs> you know, it's a, you see, I think that's what, that is exactly what, what makes us, you know, be men. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I think it that, is... Because that is never going to happen in this time. No, no, no. You see, what happens is, it's not, it's, it's not that women, you know, do not, uh, you know, do not do that. Mm. Uh, I, I remember, uh, you know, I remember it was last week, you know, there was a guy, you know, who came to fix, you know, like, in the place, you know, you, 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 know, you, you know, that I work. Mm. And when the guy, when that guy left, you know, he was given compliments, you know, by... And you know this other woman even said, "Oh, I'm feeling you know broody and you know all those." And I'm like, <laughs> and you know they said, 
Did you check out without me? He said, no, 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 I don't, you know, I don't, uh, you don't do I don't, yeah, I don't do those, I don't look at those, you know, like that, so I, don't, I can't come in. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen, I've seen even all the women go like, oh, did you Yeah. this band? You see? If, mm. Oh, yeah, I guess, I guess, um, fair enough, I guess I agree that one, when, when it comes to, like, complimenting and flirting, women do do that. And because if you see a good man, if you see a nice, very good looking man, I mean, it's just complimenting God for and, making and, just such and, a wonderful creature, isn't and, it? Yeah, yeah. And, as for me, I feel it's just natural for every human being because uh, even if you have got a nice car, mm -hmm. if you see a nice car somewhere around, you're gonna say, Oh, that car is yeah, that's a nice car, yeah, but that you know, nice car. you've got a nice car, even if you go to a garden where there are yeah. so many flowers, you can point that's a beautiful flower, that's a beautiful flower, but there will be one you say, This one is the most yeah. beautiful. This is, you know, this is, is so like you know, the hive, you exactly. can say, You know, this is like you know, the hive, you know, where the honey is, you know, this is the hive. Oh, this is for you, you know. You, I mean, you see, you know, talking about that, you know, Max, you know, the point, you know, that you raised about um, uh, when, you, let's say, you know, you're, you're up and about, you know, driving, mm -hmm. you know, your missus is sitting, you know, next to you, you know, you're driving and, you know, beautiful woman, you know, passes by. And if you turn around, you know, if you turn, you know, to, you know, to check them, it will be a story, you know. Exactly. Why are you looking at that? Keep your, keep your eyes, you know, straight on the road. Yeah. Come on, you see. This you need to keep your eye on the road if you're driving. No, 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 no. In the front. It's not like you know. Going. It's not like you know you're going to go like that. You know, whilst you're driving, but at least you know there's no harm you know, in checking. You know, maybe she's walking you know slowly and you know you're driving fast. Maybe you know yeah, you're right. you know with the yeah. car. You see. <laughs> yeah, and right. what they say in Shona's, you know, this is what I'm going to Yes. Ah, <laughs> You want to, to look, you, but you, you when it comes to women, it. yeah, definitely. It oh, you guys, you guys are just hilarious. <laughs> oh my God. So if, even if I see you drooling like you're watching them, uh, No, that's... <laughs> I'll just say, okay, is this what I'm going no, 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 that's a different that point now. Point, yeah. It will be yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. Because I've seen, I've seen yeah, like some, some, now women, you know, the boundary. some women have gone to an extent of like, oh, that's a work when, like, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, you know, sometimes, you see, sometimes uh, overdoing it, you know, you're actually, you know, drooling that, over, you know, you actually, you know, That is the point that I want you to explain, like, when does it get, like, too much? Because you're saying, okay, it's fine to compliment a woman, mm -hmm. but when does it go bad, like, to an extent whereby uh, the woman will be, like, fighting with other woman and stuff? You, you see, what normally happens is, um, when you see, mm -hmm. you compliment, mm -hmm. you, leave, you leave them be, mm -hmm. let them go, I believe, you know, there's no harm. Mm -hmm. But the harm comes in when you do, you know, the fallout. Oh. Yeah? When you actually, you know, do the fallout, trying, you know, or maybe you saw, you know, that woman walking, you know, with your friend, or a person, you know, that you know, mm -hmm. and then, you know, you get in touch with them and say, oh, who was that chick, you know, that you, you know, you were working with, uh, you see, you see checking. Um, can I, you know, have a number and stuff like that? So, which means now we are making, you know, the moves now to exactly. want to develop heard, this into I've something heard, else. I've heard a lot of, I've heard a lot of people come to me saying, "Oh, Auntie Jenny, you know, I saw you talking to this girl. Uh, was she like?" And at the time, I'm like, "She's so taken." Yeah, I mean, you see, I mean, yes, men, you know, can do that. Yeah, I mean, I, I you know, I, I've got friends, you know, you know, that can do that as well. Even when we were, you know, growing up, every time that you see a beautiful chick, you know, with your friend, you'd want, you know, to go and check it out, you know, check it out, you know, with your friend, if, you know, they're involved, or you see involved, you know, what is going on, and then maybe, you know, you might go on and try, you know, your luck, you know, that is, you know, that is something, you know, that happens. Oh, So, so when you do the follow-up, that's when it all goes wrong. Yeah, that's where I believe that, you know, that's where it all goes wrong, because from that follow-up now, Maybe you start going to be asking the you know, for a date. You go out in the nice, you know, you know, restaurant, something that you never done, you know, exactly. with your woman and stuff like that. So you are now taking it, you know, to the next level. Yeah. So I believe that you know when it when he, it he when it gets knows, to that level. He even knows that they they take you to places where <laughs> your wife doesn't be. And um, <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, I mean, we are guys. You know, we talk. Yeah. We are guys. We talk. 
you know, go, yeah, you know, yeah. you know guys when we go even to a pub we talk different yeah, situations we, uh, we come across yeah, we don't so, just you know sit down and you know you know down you know them land. Yeah, but then you know, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of things you can talk about. You can talk about Chelsea, Arsenal, Man United. There's uh, cricket. There's a lot of things. Work, cars, uh, maybe building your own car from scratch. I can say you know this. Is, <laughs> you know this will be a, this will be a social you know, environment. Yeah. It's a social setting, mm -hmm. and the subjects you know cannot be confined you know to football alone. Mm. Yeah, because you know we you know. Except we've got so many yes, things to talk we about. We diversify. We talk probably, about so many probably things. the football issue is finished, and then mm. we can start talking about the girls. So yeah. that's when I we guess start to I guess we're gonna have to start. Experience. We're gonna have to start some sexy chicks football club. <laughs> Maybe the men will start talking more about football then. So, um, I have letters here that I've received from um, some women mm -hmm. and there is this uh, woman from from Zimbabwe, like, I'm not going to say any names or what. like, if you write to us, uh, we can discuss your issue on air, but we never divulge your information or your identity, right? So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a break and then we'll be right back after this. Hi guys. Are you having any problems at home? Need someone to turn to? Well, as you've been able to see in this latest episode of Auntie Jenny's Lounge, where they're talking about small houses, maybe you've got a small house yourself, she can answer your problems. So make sure you get in touch via the ATV Facebook page and you could appear on next week's episode of Auntie Jenny. But for now, stay away from those small houses. Thank you. Welcome back to the program, Auntie Jenny's Lounge Talk Show, where we are talking about small houses, like with men cheating, why they cheat, why would another man, I mean, why would a man bring another woman into your matrimonial home? When you talk of this secretary, Monica Lewinsky mm -hmm. and Bill Clinton, oh. how, 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 how would you end that up? Yeah, I mean, you know, you know, dude was just flirting, you know, on, on the phone, you know. You see, <laughs> at the end of the day, I think, you know, as men, you know, sometimes, you know, it, it, it might be, you know, a weakness uh -huh. and um, that women, you know, can take advantage of as well, you see. Because there are some women, you know, they can see that, oh, okay, this man is good, you know, this weekend. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you, are you shifting the blame back to women that we are the reason why you have small houses? No, yes, you know, so, yeah, I mean, in some cases... I can see he's nodding. He's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you guys... I mean, you know, uh, let me fail, yes. let's be honest with yes. you, yeah? Yes. Um, there's all, you know, it takes two, you know, to tango, yeah. you know, sometimes. Yes. And sometimes men, they are forced, you know, to, to get in this situation by the people, you know, by their wives, and people that, you know, they live with at home. They're the ones, you know, that make, make them do some of these things, you know, that, you know, they do. Mm -hmm. um, just take, you know, an example of you, you have your, you know, your wife, you are in the house, she doesn't, you know, respect you, mm -hmm. she does almost uh, things, you know, that are opposite to what you, you know, you believe in. Because remember, when you marry somebody, they are coming into your, your house, so you are hosting them, you know, to some extent. So which means they should come in there and abide by every rule that goes on but, in that house. But one that, that you sound a bit, someone might just say you sound a bit old fashioned, like I'm, I'm coming into your house and I'm be like a host. Wouldn't that be like my own? I mean, it's, you say your house. I make it a home, isn't it? Yes, when you I come make, in? yes it is. It will be my house. Uh -huh. You come in and you make, make it, it a, a, home. a home. So right? if, if it's my home, why should I be abide by certain rules? I mean, are you saying by not abiding to certain rules is is what causes men to go go na Yeah, I mean, I think what women need to do, they just need uh, to have trust, like on their husband. You know, mm -hmm. if you feel that my wife or my girlfriend trusts me, you know, even if you do anything, you know that she trusts me, so you can't do anything. So, as like to this, um, if this you want to look at this uh, situation, I think uh, that wife was supposed to have a trust to the 
husband. I know this. Uh, mm-hmm. It was it was uh, his ex uh, wife, but I think um, she she was supposed to have trust that yeah. nothing was yeah, going to happen. Yeah. Because you know the moment you know you start to doubt, the moment you know you start to come up with these conspiracy you know theories. Like, yeah, okay, maybe they are going to be together, you know, in the same. That's the there is somebody, that. there is somebody who is probably my competition. Probably she was much better in mm. bed than well, me. I mean, look, uh, you know, this she guy is, he is, a, he is a powerful guy. Mm-hmm. He's a president. We have got, you know, Je- you know, Jacob Zuma. Jacob Zuma, you know, he doesn't, you know, you know, uh, you know, beat about the bush. You know, he comes out straight that, you know, I've got another wife. And you know he marries, he makes, he just makes it you know formal. But you know because it's something that he knows, it's something that he believes. In. It's his tradition, mm-hmm. yeah. Exactly. And if you look at uh, some of the families where we come from, polygamy is something you know that you know that has been in the family and it has run through you know generations. Mm-hmm. But the problem is when when a woman comes into the house, sometimes you know, and if that man still believes in that, so you know, in some cases they want to change that. But I don't know they, if it is something that is within that is within you, something that is part of you. This, you know, you can't change that. So you're saying, you, 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 I mean, if you come from a family where there is poly- polygamy. Yeah, now it's now you know depending you know on the person. If it is if it is something that he believes in, mm-hmm. or if it is something you know that you know they want, yeah, they want to do, mm-hmm. and if they make it, if they make it formal to say, look. You are my wife. I respect you. I love you very much. But you know, I, I have to have you know another you know woman. Mm-hmm. And if that is you know the tradition, then it's something you know that you know has to happen. But right. the problem with women is you come in and then you impose that that is that is not going to happen. When you impose, then that man because it is his belief, he is going out there to set you know that small house you know somewhere. Hmm. Yeah. Because here, like we asked on Facebook, like on Anti Genesis Lounge page, uh, why uh, men do have small houses and what leads men into doing it? Is why is it men and women cheat? And it, so somebody was like, Chief Pambish Nakisha Garachiri Mumu Nukuva Mumu Kura Wagi, and it doesn't matter what Anu Garasei Mumba Maki, and then Gashi Ngoda, she Umbuda Panzi Cheti, she said Kumbumba Kumba Panzi. Then somebody said, Barigara Garachiri Ko Weda Kuchivan, Kanam Bible. Saka Murumanu Mira with a small house, Kanachida. This is another person saying, a man can actually have a small. You are yeah, smiling Abraham. and nodding to <laughs> yeah. that. Abraham, you know, was given you know a second wife, you know, mm-hmm. by you know by by his first wife, yeah, because of the issues you know that were that were you know going on. So it's there in the Bible that you know a man can have you know a second wife if you know they want you know to have a second wife. But you know the problem is when a woman comes in and starts you know the war to say I'm the only one, no one is supposed to be coming oh, in. Oh yes. The person you know the men would respect oh, you and say. The, the small house is not going to be coming and imposing in your house. Mm-hmm. I'm going to set up that small house in her own house. So you got you know to respect that because that is what you know the man is wanting. Because hmm. here um, another lady actually said, "Kusabusikana ne wushiwa like it's just greediness." Yeah, I think and in, and I, last, I think I support that uh, point. Greediness. A lot of uh, men, even women as well, they don't get satisfied of what they are they having. Have. And then they start going out and have uh, so many women or so many men. But I think there's no point because if you see um, sex is that is just the same thing. The sex we are having at house is just the sex we are getting you outside. Could, that, that's so. like, I mean, if you're going to get the same thing, why go out and get it somewhere? Why? You see, um, there was a story you know that came out on on uh, Auntie Jenny mm-hmm. about um, uh, a man that was complaining that uh, uh, he has been buying you know his you know you know his wife you know sexy you know lingerie yes, you know yes, those yes. Uh, naughtiness you know outfits and stuff like that. But you know the woman you know doesn't want you know to wear them. Mm-hmm. You see, because look. This person maybe is trying, you know, to control his edges. Mm-hmm. Maybe he knows that it's happening you know, out there, 
and you want, you, you know, you want that to happen, you know, yeah, in the house. The, and if the, the woman, man, you know, is refusing man. that, you know, that man is going to be forced, you know, to go and, you know, look for it somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, to go and get somebody that is willing and prepared, you know, to wear the 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 naughtiness outfit. Oh yeah? my He's God. a patient, you know, he needs to be attended to. Ah, <laughs> nice <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah. somebody was like, oh, um, a small house. As a show, I'm going to go to the room and get into We are going to go to small house. Like, that's the people are like, uh, this is like contradicting each other. Like, somebody said it's saying the Bible, and the other person is saying, no, the Bible says this. And no, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, that's you know, that is something that is going to be impacting you, uh, it, uh, to have an impact on you if you believe, you know, in that Bible. But if you are a traditionalist, you know, if you don't believe, you know, in the Bible, if you believe, you know, tradition that, you know, your forefathers used to have, you know, so many wives, then, you know, the Bible is not going to come in right there, you see. Oh my God, there's this one person. Oh my God, this is lovely. In the Hamburg, is a total bunza, a Like, she's saying, I don't know anything about that. Me and my husband, we are happy and we're transparent to each other. I don't know. And maybe it works for them being transparent. And somebody is just like saying, some men are not happy in their homes. Yeah. Some men are not happy in their homes. That's why they go for the small house. Yeah, because the, the other reason is because you, you will not be having sex. Some women, they can deny giving you sex because of so many reasons. You conjugal rights, you know, in the house. So, so, so yeah, the, the conjugal rights play a big part as well. Yes. Well, yeah, so I mean, you know, if I wanted, you know, to stay, you know, with just a woman, I would stay, you know, with my sister. But I have got a wife, yeah? Yeah, but I've got me. One, so would argue, one would argue, like, when you grew up, mm -hmm. you still had these ages. I think they were more, uh, like, powerful than they are now. You can actually control them. But these ages, you had them when we were younger. Can you not control them now that you are married? You see, it's uh, difficult for, you know, you were not married, but mm -hmm. now you are married. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, um, how can I put it? When you were not married, there were certain constraints that were there that prevented you from just, you know, having sex, you know, any time. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Maybe it's uh, because you stayed, you know, in a, in a one-bedroom flat, you know, with your brother, and uh, that, you know, you, you, you could not get, you know, the chance, you know, to do, you know, what you want. Or maybe you were under strict parental you know, controls and you could not. It's different because once you're married, you know, you're married. You're saying, okay, because the reason why you want to bring the wife in, you know, into the house to be there with you is to have the sex when you want to have it. Exactly. Unlike, you know, when it is out Outside, there yeah. because you have to go chasing, you know, after it. But in the house, you don't have to be chasing after exactly. it. Um, and what is making uh, most people not giving sex is because they are having like they are occupied to businesses, work or school. So as as a husband, if you if you are having that treatment, you feel like oh, I think I'm going to this small house where I can get it because inside my house I'm not getting it. Mm. So I can see that's another reason as well, which is making this. So more houses to be yeah, because there is a lady who's like um, actually concurring with what you you said. Um, she say women are not lazy in bed these days. I mean, is that <laughs> is, is is that something that you would like think? Oh yeah, my woman is lazy, and then I'm gonna do this. Maybe it's the way you're approaching the woman. Maybe it's your tactics, your moves. Maybe you've changed because. Not only women change when when they get, when we get married. I'm sure that we we we, we like the being chased part. Like you're saying, when you're not married, you're chasing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. So when you have it in the house, why why not keep it spontaneous and spice it up and like chase again? Yeah, but I mean, if it is something that you, the wife, has discovered that you know this is no longer you know happening, mm -hmm. because I believe communication is key. Why why don't you communicate? Why don't yeah. you you know reach out? To say, oh, you know what? You used to do this. You don't do that anymore. 
what has changed? Am I doing anything wrong? Uh, do I need to do anything for you in order for you to, you know, I mean, to uh, to go back, you know, to where, you know, things, you know. Used to be. Yes. Yeah, yeah but yeah. Because I've so heard... many women, they say, uh, we African men, we don't have a uh, romantic, we do like kurepa, <laughs> like you just get a, a, a a, a woman to lie down and then you just do sex like straight break. away. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah, so, I, I like the way you put it. You said you just you just have sex because I, I want to believe if you're married, it's not sex anymore, is it? It's like making love. Exactly. Yeah. It's yeah, because so you know you have all the time in the world, you know, to make love. Mm -hmm. You see, unlike when you were dating, mm -hmm. it was like a hit and run because one, you are afraid of being caught. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two, you are afraid that you know if she get if she goes home late, you know she might be sent back to you before you know you're ready. But now it's like you are in there, yeah. You have got the time in the world, you know, to make you know the love. And some men, you know, are prepared, you know, to wait, you know, to do you know the one hour romance, you know, that you know, some women, you know, you know, talk about. But it isn't there anymore. Women are not prepared now to want to give men, you want you know, to want to make love when you know. When, when need to arise. Yes, when the need, you know, some of them, you know, they even give you a timetable to say, oh, in this house, you know, we should have sex, you know, once a week. Come on. Yeah. Isn't that going to, isn't that going to drive, you know, the way, a way, you, yeah, know, but, you but, know, the but, two of you? But if, if they're working and if it's working for them to provide you with that, can you not, like, work around them and uh, make it work? You see, you know, this thing about, oh, I'm tired, I, I was working, oh, I'm tired. What is it that you were doing at work? Were you digging a trench? You know, Come on, some I, of you guys, you know, you do secretarial work, you do admin, you set, you're on a computer, work. you're doing this, you know, but uh, come on. Work is work, you know, sometimes I get home, I'm tired, all I need is like a foot massage and a big rub and then I go to bed and I sleep. No. And yeah. you are coming up rubbing me the wrong way, I'm like, you know, get off me, you know, things like that. No, you know, sometimes when it's, uh, you know, when, when a woman says, oh, I just want, I just want you, you know, to touch me. Like I a just, cuddle. I just want a cuddle. I just want you to, you know, massage me. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that, you know, you, you, you'll be connecting at another level. Exactly. Yeah, that level like is going to bring out something. Yes. It's going to bring out something. Way. That's why they are bathroom showers. Mm -hmm. You can go and refresh yourself. Yeah. And then come and do romantic sex. <laughs> things like oh that. God. I mean, you know, this thing, this issue here, it's, it is a controversial issue, you know, about, you know, uh, you know, small houses. Mm -hmm. Because no matter how, you know, we might want, you know, to discuss this, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's going to be there. You see, I heard, you know, somebody saying, oh, you know, the ratio, our ratio, you know, we've got so many women, you know, in this world. That's and who's going to be satisfying, you know, <laughs> you know, those. So, I mean, everybody has got needs. So, you know, sometimes, yeah, but, you know, men feel it is their obligation, oh, you know, to go out there and satisfy, you know, these women because there are so many of them. Who, who sent you that task? Honestly, <laughs> who sent you that task? <laughs> so, you, you, you could be having like two, three other women on the side just to make uh, the proportion work. Yeah, sometimes, it, you know, some men, you know, feel, you know, it is, you know, their duty. It's like the Charles Darwin. Uh, yes, you know, it is their duty. That's you know, to, yeah. You know, to come, you know, <laughs> 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 you want now, to and then, <clears throat> here's another question What's the difference between a small house and a prostitute? A small house huh. and a prostitute. What's um, the difference? I think a prostitute uh, is that woman who, like, who stands in the street, like, uh, stopping uh, the people driving car for. Just for one. sex, and just then the one then thing, have, and then yeah, I think that's the prostitute. When them, thank you, men thing. Exactly. Yeah. That's and, what uh, I yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, I can agree, you know, with you there that you know, the small house. Look, we are talking about a small house here. So small a mini house, a mini, in the sense that you know that person is not the first wife. I've seen small houses whereby you as the man. Nothing gets done without you being there. Hmm. You are accorded all the rights, you know, that you get in your first, you know, marriage. Yeah, that's what a small house is. Yes. Prostitutes, yes, we are talking of people, you know, because a prostitute is somebody, you know, that sells, you know, their body, you know, for money. 
They sell sex for money. That's the end of the day. Yeah, and that's the bottom line. Demand it's small house sometimes, you know, if they stick with one person, they stick in with one person. Yeah, and the as small house can be uh, your previous lover, like your ex can be your small house as well. Yeah, because yeah. maybe you have an, an, an unfinished business, business day. Yeah. So, you know, exactly. what you so unfinished like, like business. the issue we were talking about, oh, that content, <laughs> good. if you want to take it uh, on another side, um, I knew what you were doing. Yeah, I don't blame the the wife as well. She she had the right to flee because she was thinking because they were in love before they might still do this. Um, they will rekindle it. Yeah, yeah, those are insecurities. You know, but, yeah, some, they do arise. Somebody you know. said um, small house in the Mainini, uh, but the procedure is for like a one business transaction, like money in exchange for yeah, kind. yeah, exactly. and uh, there there is another one who said no, 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 no. no. It's just a nice way of saying um, my husband is got a mistress on the side, something like that. Like my, he, he, he's seeing a prostitute, it's still the same thing to him. And then there, there is a woman who said, a small house is a woman who commits herself to a married man uh, knowingly and seriously and, and in a serious threat to the wife of the man and can lead to destruction of a marriage. You see now, that's not good. I think most women who but you know well, according you know to that you know definition is mm -hmm. somebody that is committing themselves to a married uh, man so which means they know that you know this man this you know, man is married is married yeah, don't so you, you know sometimes you know those people they are bound you know to respect you know you know the bound that is you know mm -hmm. of that marriage mm -hmm. yeah so to such an extent that you know they will you know all what they want because when some people you know become you know you know small houses all what they want is to be taken care of yeah, but you as the man was prepared, you know, to do that. If you take care of that small house, I'm telling you, I've known people that uh, you know, I've known families, mm -hmm. you know, that is, you know, that have been kept by, you know, by a father, yeah, by somebody that you know they call the father and uncle. Mm -hmm. Yes, that person would only come maybe twice or you know, three or, times or three times, and there was and never yeah. a problem. There was never a problem. Everything was fine. This guy did his fatherly duties, and you know, uh, I mean, when he's done, he goes back, you know, to his first wife and stuff like that. You see, so it is because you know this because you know this person is only after being looked, you know, oh, oh, being you know taken care. I of. have to say this. I have to say this. This is one hilarious comment. I'm so surprised with this. This guy is actually saying small house demining. Mukad and Are you saying you won't be getting love for it? Oh, <laughs> guys, please don't make us do. Well, maybe you know he's using. I mean, he's using what we were talking about. That you know, maybe this man is not getting enough. You know, in the yeah, house. Yeah, exactly. And then when so he goes out there, you know, the, you, you know, the small love. house is is prepared. You know, to do. To, to go to the end of the world in terms of you know satisfying you sexually or in terms of you know doing what you know you, you know the first wife is not doing so you know sometimes maybe that person maybe he is in that position whereby he has a you know a sidekick he has a small house and he's getting everything you know from the small house he's getting everything and you know with his wife I mean you know is uh, she's now that's a wife you know that goes you know she's there. <laughs> Hi, yeah. the smallest issue. I I think with guys with these guys here, we will never win. I bet one of them probably you have one or two small houses on the <laughs> side because the way you're siding with the men here. But w whatever the situation, I think the most important point is like going with the flow because it is ladies who ask this question. So I think sometimes it's, communication is very important. I always say it. I always advise. Um, People come to me with marital problems that communication is very important because if you communicate you get to an understanding and if you understand each other you do something that is like in the same line isn't it yes yeah if if your man wants you to wear um, to play nurse that day because you'll be like a, a sick sick man I mean why don't you just go with the flow and do it for him because there's this issue um i don't know if you can relate to this that most most men believe that uh, oral sex is something that can only be done with the small house or with the thing on the side and a, a married wife cannot do that yeah most married wife they don't want to to do it but i think it it has to happen everywhere it 
it can happen uh, in the house so that yeah like what we said about communication it's good to ask yourself um, what turns you on do you like uh, oral sex so if your partner says yes it's okay then if you agree you can do it because if you can't do it at home and then uh, he or her find someone who can do it definitely you, you go to a small house hmm. it becomes a problem yeah i mean <coughs> would you do the same like go to a small house for uh, such a service like oral, oral sex because you're not getting it from home if you're not getting it you know from home mm -hmm. um you know you, you what is the reason why you know you, you, what is the reason why you are not getting it no don't don't try to find like reason i'm just asking a simple question mm -hmm. if you are not getting oral sex from yeah if, if you're you not being satisfied, outside? yes if you're not being satisfied you know the way you want to be satisfied mm -hmm. yeah you go outside you would go and look for it you know somewhere exactly. if there's somebody who's prepared you know to do that you know to you so, if there's somebody who's prepared to go the extra length, you know, to actually, you know, satisfy you the way you want to be satisfied, mm. yeah, you would go and get it, you know, outside, if that yeah, person is there. Hi guys, are you having any problems at home? Need someone to turn to? Well, as you've been able to see in this latest episode of Auntie Jenny's Lounge, where they're talking about small houses, maybe you've got a small house yourself, she can answer your problems. So make sure you get in touch via the ATV Facebook page and you could appear on next week's episode of Auntie Jenny. But for now, stay away from those small houses. Thank you. So you're saying you go outside for this. So what about if it's you who is not satisfying the woman? But are we talking about this? Have you told me that, you know, you know, this, you know, something, you know, something is amiss. Yeah. Because, you know, you talked about, you know, communication. Okay. Can, yeah. can can I just be frank with you guys mm -hmm. here, right? We we are talking about um like a person who is a is in a traditional marriage, mm -hmm. and if a, if I come to my husband now and say, you know what, today I don't want the missionary position. Let's try other things like let's try spooning or any other styles. The man is probably going to jump up and say. Where the hell did you get that from? Mm -hmm. So, given that, am I going to be able to ask you the same question like, oh, today I feel like just having moral sex. How are you going to take it? If your wife comes to you and says, I need oral sex. I'll give it to you. <laughs> oh, be honest. Yeah. What about this like issue my about case, kukuram I'll soro and stuff? No, I mean... Like if, you, if, you, if you do oral sex, <laughs> I was like, I your nan is probably lying to you because she had it, she knows it's good, that's why she doesn't want any other woman to have it. No, I think there are just other beliefs, but there's as, nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. As for me, if she asks me about the oral sex, yes. I'll give her straight away that night. No, no yeah, also, also, yeah, I understand, you know, that, you know, there might be, you know, uh, you know, problem, you know, in, in, in that area. Your woman is coming to you and say, oh, today, you know, I want you, you know, to do this to me and stuff like that, stuff like that. And, you know, you start, you know, to question, where did you get that from? Where did you see that from? And mm -hmm. stuff like that. Or where did you hear them, you know, that from? Or uh, who did you do it? You know, who did you do that with? So I think that, you know, I think as men, I think in that, you know, department, we need also, also, you know, to be, you know, tolerant or to believe that at least, you know, a woman can come to you and say, can we, you know, actually, you know, do this? So I think it's a belief that we need to move away from. Yeah. You exactly. know, as men, we need to move. Yeah. So I can admit like, that. Oh, you, yes. Yeah. I sometimes, you know, men, you know, we can, we can I say, oh, so this, or this, or this, or this, or this. I'm so but, glad that you've actually brought this up that mm -hmm. you agree. Oh that, yes. Like, that yeah. is one point that, because I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking if there's no such form of communication or if it's just one-way traffic communication no like dual like carried away honestly this thing will never end because i will go and say okay my husband can give me what i want 
so I'll just go with that toy boy and then I'll do this. And then you will say the same thing, my wife is not doing this. Okay. At the end of the day, it's like we're going around in circles and the problem is not being solved. Yeah. So I'm really glad that you actually said, okay, this is a problem that... Because I mean, uh, at the end of the day, it becomes, you know, selfish on your part, you know, as a man. Mm -hmm. If you say, you know, with your wife, yeah, you don't want to you know, to accept, you know, some of the demands, you know, that, you know, she should be, putting, should be, you know, putting on you, mm -hmm. and then out there, you are willing, yeah. you are willing, and you are letting somebody do what you don't want your wife, you know, to do to you, mm -hmm. or you don't want, uh, you, what is your wife is, you know, proposing, yeah, cause then it becomes, you know, double standard, it becomes, this, this, you know, selfish on your part theory, the Like I said before, there's this theory that a, a married woman, like a, a decent, decent married woman would never give uh, and they would never do oral sex and things like that which is not true i believe uh, a woman um, should have whatever form of sex that she expects mm -hmm. from uh, the spouse from the husband you see i mean you know what also because if you look you know traditionally mm -hmm. uh, women uh, you used to go for those sessions, you know, with your aunties, mm -hmm. whereby you know you're taught how to, you know, look after men and you know do all these things. So as men, you should accept that you know this is what sometimes maybe that is because I I heard an auntie telling her niece that you know when you get there, you know, you just go and be a prostitute, you know, for your you know, oh, you yes. know to your men. Yes. Yeah, because it is it, it, it's not like maybe it's because we don't have those aunties anymore mm -hmm. to check on you know that we, role and we, but like we do have groups mm -hmm. like on facebook right now like to all the women who are watching right now who don't have anyone to go to we do have a group like nandora and maya nasi like today's women we we talk about such, such issues and I know we've been berated left, right, and center about these issues, but we have been helping so many women um, deal with these situations because these days somebody just gets married and then it's, that's it, off the aisle, there you go. Mm -hmm. it, they don't even know where to start, how to clean, how to cook, how to do these things. And like you said, like back in the day, we used to have like our aunts or our, it's either our, um, our father's sisters or our uncle's wives. You know, and they they will sit down with us and talk to us and tell us all these things. So I think that's one thing as well that's that's lacking in our culture. But then, having said that, why is it women we tend to have these groups and we we do these things to like groom each other and men don't do that? But you are the same people complaining that oh she's not doing this, so I'm going to get a small house. No, men, you know, they do that, but, you know, they, do, they don't do it, you know, the same way that, you know, you women do it. Maybe, you know, they do it, you know, once, you know, they are, you know, they are out there, you know, in the pub and, you know, yeah, they're sharing, you know. that many, normally we don't do, yeah, like what women do, like, like making a group and then people will be uh, writing whatever they think. But normally we do it, yeah, like when we're out there drinking or maybe we are somewhere but, but, gathered. And then you start talking about things, but at, like what you were saying that you'd be talking about hot chicks and more stuff. Like, won't you be like talking mostly about your fantasies and not about things that can actually work in your marriage? Do you ever sit down like? But say, a fantasy, you know, that fantasy it can be a fantasy, you know, that you want, that you want to happen, you know, in your marriage. It's not a fantasy. Can of, I? Can I just? Addressing, you know, can I rephrase woman, you know, that okay. question then? Can I rephrase <laughs> that question, right? What I'm asking is, isn't it most guys lie when they are talking about their sex lives? That, oh, I had this chick, she was doing this, oh, she was flipping, doing like, uh, you know, uh, gymnastics, stunts and stuff, whereas those things are actually impossible. Um, you, know, so, you, know, you know, sometimes, like, uh, you know, um, I've seen this, you know, happen, you know, sometimes. When you see a man talking about um, a flame mm -hmm. or what you know they did, you know their flame, mm -hmm. maybe you know uh, sometimes you know he's not serious with them. <laughs> but yeah, you, exactly. you know men, you know they don't usually you know come out and say, oh I did this with my wife, I did this. Yeah. And, you know we don't. Normally, yeah, know, normally they don't say what you would do with your wife, but yeah. normally they do with a person yeah. you are not yeah. serious. Yeah, that you're not serious. Like a small house, like what to, we are talking about. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Oh my days. So you, you can actually 
go and describe everything that happened to your friends to about a girl that you know seriously. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, you know about uh, that's an, uh, that it is an unwritten code anyway, you know, for us men that you know you can never never, you know, talk about what you do, you know, with your wife, mm. you know, to your friends and stuff like that because you know sometimes you yeah, see, you know, the problem is our secret it, yeah, it goes, well yeah, to, to it goes down to because if, as a man, you want to be perceived, you know, to be the macho guy. You know, yeah, you the man, I'm the man, you know. Yeah, so, exactly. so sometimes, you know, if you say, you know, some of these things, maybe they might come out, you know, when 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 people talk, you know, they'll talk about them, you know, in, in, in a different light. Oh my! So you you're saying you don't even if you felt good about something like oh, you know, last night. It was really good, you know, you can't even tell your friends. No, I'll tell you my wife. Yeah, exactly. But you know what? You, but you don't say... What you've done today is, you know... It was lovely. Yeah. Something new. You've put me on cloud nine because exactly. I'm, I have to appreciate, you know, I have to show you my appreciation, not to go and show my friend my, my appreciation so, because I don't sleep with them. So you, you're saying that you guys, you can actually have a good time and then you thank your wife? Oh yes. Yeah. Are you Why sure not? you're not going to go like on that and go... Uh, <sighs> you see, that comes, you no know... You know no, that comes, you know, with the, you know, territory because at the end oh. of the day, that's the job, you know, but yeah. at the end of the day, you know, there's nothing wrong in complimenting. Yeah. You know, thanking, you know, your woman, that's all. Exactly. And you know, that you thank see? you, so, it means a lot. Uh, you as men, like, what would you advise your fellow brothers out there uh, regarding this uh, small house issue? Are you saying it's a good thing or you're saying don't do it if you want to do something like I'm not going to put words in your yeah, mouth. Yeah, yeah. What, what are you suggesting? Do it, but don't get caught or what? Or oh, about the small house? The small house issue. Um, I think my advice I can give to everyone out there is um, uh, this uh, small house uh, issue. If you feel that uh, you are not getting what you want uh, with your partner, it's good to have the communication and then you and then uh, you can um, eventually get what uh, you are asking for but if time and time goes and then you feel that uh, i'm not getting what i want i think if you decide to go for a small house or to say it's over with your wife or partner you're staying with i don't think i blame a person who is doing that you don't blame a person who's going to the small house? Yeah, I don't blame because you're not getting what you like what you are supposed to get in the house. So why keep why keep the woman in the house and then have a small house? Why not just tell them, you know what? And I don't think I agree with what's happening here, it's not working, I'm going. Yeah, there's so a movie you know that Jim of Force and <laughs> that was good. There are some women, you know, that, you know, that might not be in a position, you know, to accept that. Yeah? There are some women that are so gullible to such an extent that even if, you know, they catch, you know, their men, you know, in the action, mm -hmm. they will not be prepared, you know, to leave because, you know, they believe that, you know, it is their home, you know, and stuff like that. But my advice is, a home, I mean, when you are married, so many things you know happen in the house mm -hmm. it's not down you know to a man but sometimes a man is driven away yeah you are driven away to go out there to go and you know have a small house to go and get a small house because of what is actually happening in that house but sometimes if you do talk about things if you communicate talk about things come out in the open because i believe if you are a married uh, couple then there shouldn't be boundaries in terms of what you know you talk about mm. because once you start to put boundaries in terms of what you're going to be talking about then maybe this 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 sex subject is not going to be a subject that you're going to be talking about in that house so there should be no boundaries and as a woman also a woman they should be doing you know their part to make sure that you know they protect you know their house i believe that the woman it is down to the woman to make sure that you know they protect their house they protect their men. They do what what is good, you know, for their men. Because if you don't do it, 
you are married, you know, to this man. If you don't do it, he's going to go out there and get it, you know, from somewhere else. <laughs> yeah? But also as men as well, we should be in a position, you know, to be, you know, to be willing to accept what, you know, our women, you know, what, you know, they're telling us. Sometimes, you know, they might be having a point that, you know, you might be overlooking. But maybe they are putting it across to you in a better way and you might be able to say, okay, you might not admit it there, but, you know, when you go out there and digest, you say, you come back and say, oh, she had a point, you know, when you when say this. Mm -hmm. But having a small house in some case is inevitable, mm -hmm. given the situation that a man finds or a woman finds, you know, the, you know, you know, you know, the tell them. So can, you, can, can somebody be in love with two? Two women like equally to nah. in love with two people at the same time, like I, you equally love them. No, no, I don't believe you that. You have to go to, to one person if you decide to, to stay with the one oh, you have. Right, we, I'm, I'm talking about our South African president, uh, Jacob Zuma. We all know that he got wife, five wives, isn't it? He's married to five women. So, are you saying if I was part of those women? If I was one of them, I would be worried that maybe he doesn't love me as much as he loves the next person. You see, now we are talking about you know a very powerful man, you know a, a man with the head of state, and you know sometimes you never know what he, you know his motives are. Maybe it is because you know he wants to fulfill um, his you know traditional you know, responsibilities mm -hmm. to have uh, maybe more kids mm -hmm. or to, uh, you know, it's because it's part of, you know, his culture to have, you know, so many wives, yeah, right there. But at the end of the day, it is up to him. He's the only person, you know, that can be able to say, you know, to tell us whether he's satisfying, you know, right. his women or not. So, or, you know, the wives, they are the only people that can, you know, tell us why they've decided to go and marry one person. Marry like one person. Because uh, what, I, what I like about uh, our South African president is, he he actually came out clean and he told everyone that he's going to marry like five mm -hmm. women, isn't mm -hmm. it? So it was up to the women to decide whether or not they should like carry on with the agreement or not. And then we come to uh, the Zimbabwean Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. um, it's been in the papers of late that he's been married to a couple of women like uh, customary marriages, you know, the African way, where he paid the dowry and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he, he was supposed to get married to another another woman, uh, like legally get married to another woman, and he paid Logola to two men. Like it was, what 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 do you think would be happening there? Because it's so you said when it comes to Jacob Zuma, it's more about uh, power and mm -hmm. yeah, some things people they agreed to because them so uh, them women they know that um, we have agreed to. Be, be together. Yeah. So, you know, so what's the difference? What's the difference? Because I know some people were really furious with the Zimbabwe Prime Minister saying that he can't do that. Why is he doing that? He can't even do that. Why not just choose one person and stuff? But then next door, Jacob Zuma has got five wives. Yeah. I think no. there's there's no problem for him to have uh, two wives or more. But what is needed is to have an agreement. If the both wives are great to be um, uh, to be Changirai's uh, wives, I don't think there's any problem. But if there's a uh, disagreement, that's where the problem is. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, you see, we have seen these things you know, happen. You know, you're uh, choking, you're choking on your head. No, 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 I'm not choking. I'm saying, if you are if 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 we are talking about you know the prime minister mm -hmm. and um, the recent you know stories you know that came out, this is not new. This is something that that is not new mm -hmm. because look, I've heard you know I've heard situations whereby somebody go to marry you know today, mm -hmm. yeah, they pay everything, but you know the next day you know they don't go back or you know you know that woman they you know all these things you know they, you know they do happen. But what I can only say is. It was down to him, you know, Changirai, yeah? One, we are talking of a person, you know, who was a wi uh, Yeah, he was yeah? a widow, yeah. Yeah, he was a widower. Mm -hmm. His wife had passed away. And it was within, you know, his rights, you know, to... Uh, to find a woman. Yeah, to find. But now, you know, the problem is, you know, maybe the problem, you know, came that, you know, women were throwing, you know, themselves, you know, 
at him. He's a man. Blame card again. You see, you know, you know, it's not you know the blame card, but at the end of the day, these things you know they you know they do happen, yeah. But at the end of the day, what what it all boils down to is how do you manage such a situation? How do you control you know such a situation? Because for him, he was looking you know for somebody you know to marry. Because me, I will judge Changirai right now. I am going to start judging him. Mm -hmm. From the time that he said I'm marrying, uh, was it uh, Locadia. Locadia? You know the current the, wife. The current wife no, no. is Elizabeth. Yeah, Elizabeth. He said that's my woman now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to judge him if he does anything stupid from here, from the time that he said Elizabeth is, is now mine. And if there are any stories, you know, that are going to come out to say, oh, he has been unfaithful, he has been doing this, he has that's been doing this, said, then, then he... I'll start, you know, to judge him. And for Locadia, I think it was just an unfortunate incident that, you know, uh, she was married, but uh, he never changed, you know, his mind. <laughs> he had the right, you know, to change, you know, his mind. Uh, I think, uh, men do stick together, they really do stick together. So, um, right now, I'm, I'm just going to go through, like, the letters on Facebook, from Facebook here. Yeah. There is a, a, a story, and that was one of the main questions women asked as well, like, why is it when men leave uh, their country to go into diaspora, mostly the UK or the US, when you leave Africa and you go to the United States, you go to America, you go to um, Canada, Europe, UK, or you go to, uh, what's it, New Zealand and Australia, mm -hmm. why is it you 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 tend to like forget about the woman that you've left home and you just start a new life there why is it like that why is it so easy because according to this woman this woman is saying that she actually uh added somebody because she recognized the name but the face that was there it was their husband mm -hmm. and then that's when he found they she found out that this man was actually married to another woman and because it says uh married to mm -hmm. on the relationship status yeah. the name was a familiar name like a cousin's name or a friend's name but it was her husband yeah i mean yeah i um, i read you know that story and it was just unfortunate because for as much as i want to say you know this guy um was supposed to have come out and told you know the woman that uh, he had left in Zimbabwe that look I mean, I don't think you know we have a future, you know, together. Mm -hmm. But you can also, uh, if you, if you look at it, you know, there, are, you know, circumstances as well. Because when this guy came, uh, and we all know all the people, you know, that came, you know, to the UK. You you all know that you know when when visas were imposed, so many people were separated, you know, from their you know loved ones for a long period of time. So maybe he was maybe. He was doing something that uh, maybe he was looking for papers, or maybe he, he was now involved, you know, with this other woman because he was now looking for, you know, status, you know, to live, you know, in this country. We so all know, uh, you know, the men difficulties of men this country. Men always have excuses. So you say it could be. No, I mean, I mean, we are talking about, you know, the reality. We are talking about something, you know, you know, that is real and we have all experienced. So if you, if we have you, seen. If, if what, what, to, what would ask? If I need to ask, uh, were they married? You like? It? Yeah. yeah, they were married. They were married and they had kids as well. Yeah. Right. No, no, no. Ah, yeah. uh, uh, they had no kids. Which was the 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 one that. Um, Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They were married, but they had no kids. Yeah. They had no kids. After you know the wedding, yeah. the, you know the men, you know, came. They had a white wedding, and the men just uh, moved you know, came to, to the, the UK. UK. Yeah. Oh, wow. Just came from Africa to the UK, and then there's another story here, um, whereby this one is a different thing. It's a, it's actually a woman who came here first mm -hmm. in this situation, and uh, um, uh, this the um, later on she decided to bring the husband to mm -hmm. join her and then only for the husband to start a fight like with one of the guys at the pub and then somebody just say to them yay hey, stop stop picking on me why don't if you are a, uh, if you're a fighter why don't you go and just beat up the man who was living the man you call a friend who was living with your wife as husband and wife you know things like that helpful things like that which was very very uh, sensitive so it's not only that it's not only men who come to the diaspora yes. and mm -hmm. then do that. 
It so you know, yeah, that you know, this is why I'm saying maybe it was because of you know the circumstances. We all know, everybody knows, you know, the situation that you know they left home, and maybe you know they were trying you know to make sure that because when people came over, some of them became you know breadwinners. Mm -hmm. So maybe some people you know could people can go to extra length to actually you know do something that can help you know their situation or that can help them them to look after you know their loved ones. So maybe it was because you know of, of that situation. Maybe she found you know shelter you know with a guy, and the guy you know was willing you know to help her out you know probably you know send money you know. But I, I'm saying at the end of the day, it takes a person who's very strong not to go into these you know temptations mm -hmm. because anything you know can happen. But it takes a person who's very strong not to go into you know this temptation because for her to actually introduce. Um, her husband, you know, to this guy, and uh, them oh, actually, you know, becoming friends. She's I think, a, you know, it's she's evil. One brave woman. No, no, no. It's, uh, to me, that's evil. There's no evil, you know, that can be, that can never be, you know, I described as brave, but it can be described as she was evil there because yeah, deep down in her heart, she knew yeah. what, you know, she was doing. What about if this said, like, if it flipped the coin and said this was the, the man? Playing the women. Yeah, still, I mean, still, because you see, at the end of the day, when people had been involved, mm -hmm. yeah, that chemistry that brought you, you know, together, sometimes it doesn't die. Mm. One day, or at some other point in, in your lifetime, that something is going to come out and you're going to, you know, to get caught. When, you, when you're reminiscing on the good times yes. and stuff. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, oh, you know what? I think we've discussed enough about the uh, small house issue and why people, when they come into, when they go out of the Africa, they leave their spouses back home and either when they join them, something is up and something is happening. I guess uh, one thing that we have learned from this uh, discussion is if you are a married woman and your husband is asking for certain favors, like um, in the image, when it comes to conjugal rights, that's making love or having sex. I think you need to reach an agreement and meet somewhere. Maybe, maybe this can reduce the amount of men who are going out there cheating and looking for other uh, fantasies and stuff. And also, to the women doing the same thing, please go to your husband. I believe in communication. Do sit down with your men and tell them. Men who are watching this program, we talk about these things with other women. We have social groups, like uh, I personally have a group that I formed that's called Dandori Madzimai, and it's on Facebook. And every woman is welcome there. It's a woman only group, it's a female only group. And we can actually talk things and we can actually sort of resolve certain issues that happen in, in families. So don't like, Stop your women from coming in to do these discussions. Allow them to come to these groups because they can actually they can actually learn a thing or two about reserving and keeping the sex life spicing up the sex life in the house. So um, I would like to thank my guest for coming in. I thank you very much, Max, for coming oh, in. Yeah, welcome. Thank you very much yeah. for coming in to discuss such a controversial issue because we had so many people coming in, but some of them they said last minute, oh, this is too sensitive, you know, we're not doing it. But at least we got something out of these two nice men who never cheat, by the way. Mm. Only God knows. So until next time, my name is Auntie Jenny and thank you for watching my program. See you later. Bye-bye.